Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup as a Formicid Fighter. Now, it has been actually quite a few days since I recorded the last episode, because um, I'd recorded a bunch of stuff well before they started to get put on the air. Um, and as such, we're still not actually caught up on anything over here, so... Um, my apologies if I'm not able to respond to some helpful hit hints that you guys may have sent me uh, on the last episode or something like that. I'm still been playing semi-blind over here. Now, it has been a few days, uh, which has some pros and cons. The con is that, you know, I may have forgotten a little something about my situation um, that could be irrelevant. But the pro... Man, we have no identifies for those scrolls, huh? Um, the pro is that often it, it leads to also a brain reset that might cause you know, a little bit more calm and whatnot. We're currently on Swamp 3. Um, we have poked and peeked down to Swamp 4. I don't know. Looks like we left some vampire bugs, ugly things and whatnot. Sort of scattered a boot over there. We got a Swamp Dragon as well. Um, in terms of resistances, I've got our Cold, our Poison, our Elec. A little bit of MR. Permanent C and Viz because we are a bug person. All right. I think the um, the R poison is just coming from the ring. We do also have it on the sling, but we're not really using it much right now because um, because most things are venom immune here. It's really not doing as huge amount. I mean, it is plus nine. And I do have the min delay. I don't know. It might be worth just uh, grabbing it to you know pop back down the stairs. Auto explore a little. Just flick it at you. And sort of just move backwards. Wait here. Sense a monster nearby, yeah. Um, but where exactly are you? You might be one of the uh, the bugs. Okay, your swamp dragon, which I believe is immune to poison, or at least resistant to poison. That's fine. It can hit for quite a bit. We do have a good amount of health at that this point. Um, it's not red in terms of danger. Part of me does wonder if it might be worth using a consumable early. And one of the things, too, with following Gozag is I really want to start using my money on consumable shops at this point. Make sure we've got more potions and more, uh, more scrolls. I could just rip an acid at it. Like, it's gonna... Let's just poisonous cloud. If I were to evoke acid... I guess there's no percentage chance on this, because it doesn't work that way. There you go, you're corroded, so you have reduced AC. Okay, I may have not needed to do that. But I I know that we were having, you know, I was having a little concern about a couple of things. I know we're losing our sling bullets here. I actually might want to quiver uh, some stones so that they don't go. If they go into water, it's not as much of a hardship. Got some alligators, I'm going to fling at one, move to flat land. It's interesting that quivering is a free action, but weapon swapping is not. I'm not saying it's wrong. Where'd the other one go? Oh, there's one. I guess I'm stealthy, aren't I? Yeah, 14 levels of stealth, yeah. Kind of makes sense that they might lose track with uh, on me. Whack, whack, whack. Any one is fine. In fact, probably any one of anything I'm going to run into on this floor is fine. The problem is it's it's fairly open, right? There's no real hallways in swamps. And as a result, you can find yourself overwhelmed. Spring Druid. You're going to make, like, the trees all mad, right? Okay. Sign ugly thing. I'll just fling a rock at you. Make sure you notice me. Oops. Actually meant to wait a turn, not move forward there. Boom! Alright, first rune acquired! The decaying rune of Zot. We have a first one, scroll of blinking, which we can't use. Done exploring over here. Okay. Other branches uh, we could do. <coughs> we could try snake again. I don't remember why we ended up leaving, but it was pretty rough. Um, and then we came here instead. I mean, we do have our poison. Um, I think, I think we can probably start on vaults. Short of, like, vault 5, which is this whole other beast. The first few levels should be okay. I'm trying to remember, do we have to worry about our egg in there? I mean, right away? I'm not sure. I think we can at least peek in. 
and see how it feels. There you go. So we need at least one rune to be able to enter here. Alright, I'm just going to peek around the corner here before I open that door. You know, between the vision and the stealth, like, we have pretty good scouting. Ironbrand Convoker. Okay, so they are annoying because um, they can warp enemies to themselves and they can might others. Like, word of recall pulls friends nearby. That being said, on their own, they're not too bad. It's just the masses of people that can suddenly appear. But we are near the staircase. Um, a wizard has, of course, spells, but it has a 0% chance to banish us. We're immune to the paralysis and the slow. Um, so mostly we're just worried about raw damage, but I'm not sure I'm that worried. Easy. I'm just going to let these guys okay, come to me. I'll just pull back over here. I mean, they can go through the doorway and still sort of surround. Um, but they weren't going to do it right away. They did actually do it faster than I expected, admittedly there. Longsword protection, new. Gold, gold, gold. Wait for a little bit more. Because we may have to um, uh, potion petition. I'll pull back here. So, yeah, he's... Whoops. Oh, wow. Okay. I guess because we knew this, the, the shaft was there, we wouldn't fall. I think we can lead enemies into the shaft, but otherwise, if we have vision, we're not going to fall. Otherwise, it probably would have warned us. Like, are you sure you want to do this? Are you being an idiot? Hey, level 19. And the answer to that is often yes. Hang on. I want to um, keep looking around at this big room over here. I maybe shouldn't have moved forward there. Maybe should have let him come to me. It seems okay. Slime creatures, okay. Like, they might do a little merging here, but it's mostly a pretty good place to fight them. Shields goes up. I don't know what our shield target is. 15. Okay, so we got a ways to go, because we are using a large shield now, right? Yeah, plus two. So it's not branded, like no resistances or anything like that, but it is providing a lot of defense. The Vault Warm Simulcrum is fine. Ice Dragon should be okay. We have some cold resistance. We don't have fire resistance, right? We just, But we do have cold. He is very loud. You can see some creatures are awake and roaming around. Hello. Oh, the bookstore is not great for us. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're going to do a lot of backing up here. Uh, unless it has a manual. Because we're not doing spell casting here. I'm going all the way to the stairs. Luckily, they're not faster than I am. Yeah, I was I was not taking risks. There was quite a few things sort of aggroed around, including multiple trolls. Okay, the Deep Troll Earth Mage can somewhat do some scary stuff. Okay, I'm going to drag the two of you up. Maybe I should have just done one. But as I say, I think we're okay. I'll pop back down here. What can you do? I think it's I, I'm I'm thinking about our um, our gargoyle run ages ago and the deconstruction being particularly dangerous. I'm not going to pre-peek the stairs there. Now the Volk Warden, they have the ability. To, yeah, I was going to say sealed doors, right? You know, prevents you from escaping and whatnot. So I want to sort of back up into a choke point before he sealed me in there. Uh, I mean, you're shooting with some range stuff, but that's not too bad. With our defensive capabilities, we're not too worried about that. I mean, we don't have any sort of missile reflection or anything yet. Uh, hey, Cyclops. How's Jean Grey? Uh-huh. Sleeping with Wolverine. Wow, you don't say. Um, oh, I can see you through the glass, but I don't actually have... I have, I don't know, line of sight, but not line of action. Line of effect. Want to summon potion shop? I mean, there is at least one shop here. Let's not spend the money yet. I'm just going to back up some. Okay. Oh, we may have gotten a few too many things going on. Some of those things can open doors. Some can't. I'm just sort of looking to separate the pack. There we go. I mean... Also becomes a suit. All right. Should be okay. Bolt of draining... Blinking demons. Boom, boom, boom. Kill you. Get rid of your summons. Necromancer. 
Okay. Uh, great orb of eyes. What do you do? Do you paralyze? Yeah, but I'm immune to that, so it's fine. And we're pretty resistant to everything else you do. So, that seems okay. I'll just wait here. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, all right. Uh, actually, moving forward. Hello, wolf spider. Wolf vulnerable to poison. Great orb of eyes. Actually, don't know if you can be poisoned. You're not being poisoned, but you know, let's go ahead and do this this way. Oh, I can see you, but can't hit you. Whack, whack, whack. We're still hoping for a better polearm. I wonder if they're going to figure out how to pathfind to me. I guess I can just go to them. I'm holding shift here so I don't move too far. Alright, if you see someone, hold shift while you're doing the arrow keys. It'll move a certain distance until you hit an intersection or see an enemy, and then it'll stop, you know. Just stop. It won't let you keep running when you're at risk. That's a lot of ugly things, but I don't think I need to be worried about them. Um, I mean, it's going to change elemental resistances and stuff, but we don't do elemental damage. Um, and we have pretty good physical resistance. Like, the danger from the ugly things is mostly from their physical um, damage, and that's not something we have to worry about. This doesn't really matter where I target exactly here. I'm gonna hit three. Um, but here... There you go, four. I'm not too worried about this, but I may as well AoE. There is a lot of them! I mean, you know... Let, let, let's be clear here, that's a lot of ogres. Two-headed ogres. But... I mean, there's a chance it could have gone really badly, but I was pretty sure the odds were very much in our favor there, that it was going to be pretty clean. So, I'm still holding off for that shop before I, I go and summon my own stuff. Uh, what was it? D? D for Ice Blast. So I should have stayed in the doorway. In the doorway, two people could hit me, but here, theoretically, more could. But we're okay. Let's eat some rations. Of course, we don't get meat from our people. Manual of Long Blades. Um, yeah, we'll hold off. So, I mean, it would let us train Long Blades faster. Uh, what, what key do I want to hit here? Uh, star. Long Blades. It is just a zero. In theory, if we found an amazingly good Long Blade, we could consider making a switch. And, but with the help of that book. Uh, what was that shield? Just regular large shield. Okay. Uh, well, you already noticed me, so I guess I didn't have to do that. Just didn't want you ranging me too much. I didn't want to blindly move in there either. Uh, interesting. It won't let me... There we go. Auto-explore when they have vision of me through glass, even though they can't reach me. Deep Elf Mage. Nice. I don't know if, like, ranging these guys makes much sense, except I'd easily win the battle. If the things can be poisoned, we basically slaughter them at range fairly effectively. That The Fastibulus is really good. Now, things will change when you get a better pole arm. Control F, pole, pole arm. Um, I don't remember which one we want that's better. Hold on. Uh, DC, SS, pole arms. Because I'm using a Halberd, which is 13 base damage. So Scythe, Demon Trident, Tradusha, Glaive. Um, right, we have seen Glaives, but nothing with a brand except Distortion. There's a Glaive of Protection. I mean, Protection is definitely less good than the Flame brand. Glaive is base 15 damage, Halberd is base 13. I guess it's not that much of a difference. So yeah, we're still I guess we're still gonna hold out for a a superior type um, brand. And we haven't seen a Bardish at all, which I mean wouldn't have expected. Alright, so that's that. So we peek down over here. That's a lot of dudes. Uh, does the vault the vault warden may seal stairs? I don't remember. 
Oh, all the stairs in the same area. Um, hmm. Okay. That's fine. What we're going to do is we're just going to buff ourselves. We're going to buff ourselves with agility. Oh, actually, I probably should have bought the shop or ordered the shop in, but a little late now. Agility will still help. We'll pop down. Yeah, see, the doors are closed. Um, it's the warden here that's keeping them closed. So what I want to do is I want to evoke my polearm on him. That might be the other one. Oh, there's the warden. Hold on. Was I hitting the wrong person all along? Okay. We'll do this. There we go. Now this is what I wanted all along, is to drag them up. I'm going to intentionally sort of dart around here in a situation where only two people can hit me. Or three, I guess. Shush. Okay. I think we're okay. Um, we don't have agility going on anymore, so let's go ahead and... Oh, Call Merchant is going to be 2,000 now. Yeah, it's possible that, you know... I sort of screwed up with my expenditures early, but we'll see. Drag you up. Pop, 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 pop. Okay. Down. I mean, we were... Like, what was going on earlier is I was... Ooh, okay, that's a lot of dudes. Um, I was doing a lot of shopping for, like, weapons and armor, and don't get me wrong. Okay, are you gonna die? Thank you. Maybe I should've killed this guy first, because he'd go down a little faster. I mean, there's something to be said about killing the biggest source of damage, but ultimately what you want to do is you want to minimize how much damage you take as quickly as possible. Down. Up. Oh, I'm surprised I was allowed to go up. Didn't it look like the stairs were sealed there? What the hell? Where? No, there was, there was a dude. Uh, was it Control P? I feel like there was something. Root Vault Warden dissolves into shadows. Were some of these things, like... Invisible? Were the illusions? What was going on there? It's probably something in the log. Someone already knows. Uh, this shield is just a regular shield, right? Yeah. Unbranded. Not even large. Convoker. Okay. Bop you before you bring in too many of your friends. Break line of sight. Smash the hell out of you guys. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. This is okay. I mean, you buffing your allies with might is a little rough. Because the way might works with monsters is different than players. It's it's really bad, is what it is. Like, really bad for us. Okay, there's an upstair there, which is good to know. Skeletal Warrior should be okay. Mostly just a big bucket of stats. Nothing fancy. And we are a bigger bucket of stats. There's a lot of guys up here. But what was nice about this engagement is that it wasn't going to be too scary from the angle. Now, there's another stone giant here. The thing did a lot of damage recently, but the only thing hitting at a time there. We're starting with full health. Oh. Okay, that's that. Yeah, these shadow images, sometimes there are things that aren't there anymore. I guess the skeletal warriors weren't shouting, which is why the others didn't aggro. I'm assuming. Raju, done, level 20. Hornets, and they do poison. We do have our poison, though. I mean, we can still get poisoned. We saw it in a fight just a minute ago. Um, hmm. I'm loath to step forward into, I was just saying, to unknown. I didn't know there were some things over here, but with the slimes, really wanted to avoid fighting them in a smaller hallway. Because, like, as they as they merge up, their threat goes up, like, kind of exponentially. Because they get more hit points as they merge up. They also hit harder. It might be harder to hit as well, but... An Ancient Lich... I have... N there's no way I have enough resistance for this. Like, I have, I have no Arneg. Like, I don't really have to worry about being banished or anything, which is good. But don't they have... Drain skills. Are you just a magic user? Do you not have negative energy attacks? 
I mean, there's stuff like Haunt and, I don't know, Bolt of Draining. I don't know what, how that works, if anything. Now, I think standing here and fighting is not the answer. The problem is... I don't have a really good way to to get away. Unless I want to go downstairs, but going down the stairs blindly is not ideal in any way. Oh, we do have enough money. I could have ordered a shop by now. Um, you're going to be pretty resistant stat-wise. I mean, 108, lots of AC, infinite MR. Okay, I'm fine with that. He had to sort of spend a turn. I tried to close... I closed the door. He moved up and opened the door on his turn, so I wouldn't cast with anything. Um, I don't think any of these are... I mean, maybe hitting with acid? To corrode it? Okay, now these vampire magi. That's a lot more draining and stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Now I'm not concerned anymore. I think that was a summon. It sort of sucks to fight. Spectral Mist. Okay, that's a lot of Spectral Mist. Hold on. Okay, all of a sudden this is super unpleasant. Oh yeah, we're going to quaff Agility first. Oh, I have a Might. You know what? Might. And Agility. I'm a little concerned about this. It's possible this is overkill, but I... Th oops. Suspect that it is not. Okay, you're finally dead. Okay. Turns out that was... Ooh, you're starving. And I'm super mega drained. I have no more food. Yeah, I'm fairly drained. Uh, rest. Rest. Okay, Yaktor's fine. So draining basically, like, effectively removed some skill levels from us. Um, gaining XP remove the drain. Now, as far as I know, you still earn the XP towards the skill at the same time as you're removing the drain. Like, I don't think it costs us any true XP, but it is going to make us suck for a while. Okay, let's um, call Merchant. We are out of food. And yeah, there's the call Merchant cost, which is, I think, the maximum that's going to be presented, but it's not always going to be the same. I was hoping for, like, you know, scrolls and potions. I think, since I'm out of food, I'm actually going to have to call a food shop here and buy everything. I mean, I may as well. It'll save us some trip, which, like, travel time is food, so we're going to want to avoid that. So now we've got lots, which is important. Squirrel of Blinking. Game's just, like, trolling us here. There are a lot of monsters in here. What are we, what are we talking about? I don't know there. Can I look through this window? No. What the heck? Huh. Alright, well... Okay, this is... Fine. Kill, kill the sorcerer. So this is not a bad spot here because my reach and their line of sight. Um, okay, we'll pull back some. Oh yeah, butt face closed that door is what happened. Let's kill the Rakshasa. Uh, I can't let... Hmm... Hang on, how are we screwed? Well, let's see, I could dig down using my built-in, oh wait, hold, what the hell? What is this thing? No, that's Tormentor. This thing. Are you summoned or actually just there? Oh shit, no wonder we're getting destroyed. That is something I was not expecting. I mean, I should be looking at the name list right away. It's silence so that people adjacent to me can't um, cast spells. I'm actually wondering about Ambrosia. Yeah, it'll confuse me. There's still a chance that it can hit. And meanwhile, it'll heal a bunch. We don't really have evocation, right? For the wand use? No. So we're not really pro there. Um, 
I think I'm gonna have to try that. I'm gonna have to Ambrosia and hope. Uh, there we go. That I can get some attacks off. I'm not sure that that's not gonna that that's gonna work. Oh, am I no longer confused? I feel less confused. Shit. Confusion only lasts, or the heal from that only lasts while the confusion... I think we might just be stuck, you guys. Okay, uh, maybe I should have tried it. I'm going to try to shaft ourselves. Problem is, I think it takes a few turns to do it. Now, how quiet are we? We've got stealth. Oh, no, I died. Maybe this is what I get for not having played for a while and then coming back to it. I think... There are too many dangers in Vault. Which I hadn't realized. Oh, hey! This guy here, Soma, died to basically that thing I was just fighting. That upstairs that was causing me un unexpected amounts of trouble. Oh, this was a really good run. I thought we had this one. Um, I don't think Gozag was doing a whole lot for us there. Now, it was my first time with Gozag, and maybe, like, maybe yeah, I made a mistake trying to go for item shops a few times, and maybe I should just load up on consumables, you know, spend money on consumables and go to town that way. I'm not sure. I feel like this could have been the run. I think... I think that um, this build, I think the um, the uh, Formacid, wow, the inability to escape is pretty bad. Uh, in hindsight, I think going for a god that might give you an alternate emergency button, since since going Formacid, you lose two of the most powerful, emer well, three of the most powerful emergency buttons in the game. Scroll of Blink, Scroll of Teleportation, Potion of Haste. And by going with Gozag, other, oh, I forgot about Potion Petition. I might have been able to drink, uh, do a potion petition and, and survive. I don't know. I did spend a lot of money at the food shop. But I, I should have at least checked. Um, anyway, Gozag, like, potion petition is a fairly weak emergency button. Especially since, like, one of the emergency buttons you can get to save you out of potion petition is the effect of a haste potion, which we can't use. So, I think a different god would have been better. Honestly, just Oka, probably, but um, I think there's actually a lot of options. I'm trying to think. Do you... Our, invo our evocations was... Oh, no, no, it's invocations um, for Nemelex. For Sid. What is the invocation? They have plus two invocation. So, for Sid fighter of Nemelex would be insanely good. You wear heavy armor... So you can't cast spells, but that's okay because you've got your invocation, your your books, your decks with a lot of emergency buttons, like just massive amounts of damage. Summons, which is a huge thing. Now the deck of escape, I don't know what's in there and if some of those things aren't applicable to a formacid and what does it mean if you draw those things as a formacid. Um, I don't know, but that'll have to wait till next time, folks. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.